<laughs> Just look at the range. For the love of God. This is almost hogbite level of movement, and I mean hogbite when he was uh, soloing the campaign. A trivial loss, easily replaced. Good. We're moving up to here. I I do have a plan. And yes, I know we're still very much in the effect. Don't move. You'll be all right. Oh, great. How many are you willing to sacrifice to save this one? Let us find out. Okay, we got to deal with the chosen once and for all. She does not take a lot of damage. That's a problem. Moving up here. Grappling ourselves up here. And we gotta move out of there. Can't let Miltown take damage. We could explode her and let her drop nicely. Can't attack her in melee. It's unfortunately not going to work out. Moving relatively close. Come on. 50 50. It's a nice hit. Good. Perfect time to unload and maybe kill her one hit I will prevail regardless proving your words to your new master perhaps someone of more skill should try sure you can do better. yeah we're going to take some damage anyway so if I hit her she has three six nine ten hit points uh, that'll be six from falling one two no four from falling still gotta try it without putting ourselves at risk though we're going to take some damage that's a given That's 10. She should have been dead. Seven damage from the psionic bomb. That's a lot. Certainly doesn't help if we're seeing four additional enemies. Another harbor wave. Pop 
boy, oh boy. I'm doing something. <laughs> yeah, that's an intense one. Okay, cool. First and foremost, let's put him into safety. Finally. Moving up into soft cover, revive for good measure. Fifty-fifty. I forgot about the shot back. He's going to die. We can't save him. So one of them is down. Spear of Speed is a good one. Like it. Alright, moving up. Forty four is not good enough. This here might be a kill. If we play our cards right at I still don't think that we can save him. Plus 10 ability points. Good deal. Still don't think that we can save him, but we're doing okay. Gotta hate the assassin specifically if we don't have enough health kits uh, with us all right that's a kill if we manage to pull him he's burning he will run away trigger overboard um uh, trigger blade storm and blade storm will kill him There we go, one down, two more to go. Finally, the promotion. That's good. That's the parry we were looking for. Well, that's a pretty nasty hit. Moving down. Let's try to finish this here. No longer a threat. Negative. Weapons try. 
Where's the exit? Over there. Okay, cool. Moving in. Willing to use Sting because I want to use the other actions. I didn't want to use conceal. Uh, didn't want to lose concealment. All right. Carry this unit three turns from here. Drop it there. Hogbite moves up. Summons the ghost back there. We'll take over the unit next turn. Uh, since he has more movement and we're hopefully going to carry him out of here. Um, don't want to trigger anything, so for now, we're just ending turn. There you go. All right, put some down carefully. Pick up for free. Moves up. And we're going to keep our cover. Luckily for us, that alien patrol has not spotted us yet. Here I come. Let's just make sure we're keeping it that way. Without even reloading, we're just running closer to the exit for now. Templar Ghost. Good, we're probably going to engage them. But the Templar will need to leave now. Yeah, there's the engagement. I was expecting that that might happen. Okay. We're getting him out of here. Normally I would even consider sacrificing him. We're going to use everything else for the round ends. Let's do the right things first. Tired of waiting around. Don't have enough time here. That's very unfortunate. Would kill this guy if we're playing our cards right. Got a lot of activities where we unfortunately couldn't really do anything. All right, fatal here. Are you telling me you can't see? 
the neck, really. That is unlikely. We can position ourselves over here. That way we can also see the mech. Very nice hit. Hair trigger free action. That's exactly what we want to hear. Uh, followed up by Wrath. I want to kill that elite Lancer. Good job. Well, it's actually an advertisement video of how good a stun lancer can be, if uh, how good a skirmisher can be, if played right. Um, let's reload and finish the mech. Nicely done. hitting this guy straight into his face he's burning so there's a good chance that he's actually going to die um, let's just better be safe than sorry all right that's a solid kill momentum That'll give the purifier something to do, and we're going to get out of here saving um, the sniper. By the way, super bad play from uh, my side. I could have just killed the Chosen in a different uh, fashion. There was no reason to uh, to actually um, take a 50-50 shot. It's not the end of the world, to be honest, but still. I don't like to make those types of mistakes. Good, that takes care of the shredding. Fortunately, we're being spotted out this time. Really, the tree is in the way, oh my lord. Good, so that's the backup plan. I really don't want her to ta continue taking fire damage. I go. Another superior focus right there. Comet presence because we want the highest damage dealer to take that shot. Probably even getting a promotion, maybe. Okay. 
Okay, six more turns. Got a couple of injured uh, soldiers here. Good, we certainly got the VIP. Oh boy, closer mission than I would have expected, but I suppose for the viewing pleasure it uh, was a great mission because it was a pretty harsh fight against the assassin. Uh, and besides that one pretty stupid mistake that I uh, made, I think everything else was fine. Still got an excellent rating. It was a very difficult mission um, and in, in the truest sense of the meaning. So overall, okay, um, although it was pretty close. Good, look at that. We landed and we even got two promotions. That's good. Edgallion Poe deserved his promotion, uh, takes Blade Master, and we're good to go. He really did well. Fatal certainly very, very much uh, deserved his promotion. That was just. That was just great. I liked it. Um, couple of things Saturation Fire. Gives him an AoE attack. It's probably not bad. Considering all of the other things. I definitely want to reduce the cooldown by one. Because we had a few times that we wanted to use the cooldowns more. Yeah, the others are so and so. I'm not still not uh, very happy with with the type of um, kit that he takes. So I guess we're going for uh, manual override and return fire. Or alternatively, I think saturation fire is actually not too bad on him. It costs a lot of ammunition and you will need to put um, an expanded magazine on him, but it gives him an AOE ability and can also remove cover, something that he elsewise does not necessarily have. Um, that plus return fire is good. Return fire only really is usable when you're in a tight situation. On the other hand, manual override will reduce a lot of the cooldowns, including Comet Presence, which is by far his strongest ability. So we're going for the standard manual override um, and I'll take return fire because it's not too bad to um, have that. Um, and I even throw in some reflex that will give him an extra turn when he's being under fire. Since you don't have mimic beacons, it could happen that you're under fire. Um, and with Fatal finally being a colonel, mwah, you got another excellent unit right there. Superior speed, um, that is awesome. And we got a grenadier. Let's take a look what we got ourselves, first and foremost. Edgar Alien Poe and um, Eric. Well, that's an interesting combination, but I'll ignore it for now because Edgar, unfortunately, is just starting his career and it would be better if Hogbite actually takes a stronger unit um, as a partner. We're going to give him, nonetheless, plus, um, plus um, speed and we're going to give our Psy operative here the plus focus doesn't matter for his attack but it very much matters for his defense and since we don't have a lot of other pcs at the moment we're going to take whatever we can five kernels uh, Hayes almost uh, is a kernel as well and we got ourselves a grenadier back let's look at tkr uh, so that's an old uh, lieutenant that's okay Shredder is correct, Demolition is correct, and Heavy Ordnance is great as well. Plus he gave him uh, Holder Targeting on top of it, which isn't bad. I approve uh, that. Whilst we are in the Training Center, let's just take a look at the abilities in general. Yeah, we're not requiring any of those abilities. I think the blast padding isn't bad. Serial clearly is good, but 25 points is a stiff price for it. Blast padding will help you to survive with your soldiers, so might as well just take it. It's free. Same here. 
it makes a lot of difference. Uh, Rupture is an excellent ability, but I wouldn't uh, sink all of the money into it. Instead, Haywire Protocol, uh, just so that you do have both the healing route and Haywire Protocol, which by the way is an excellent skill. Death from above is a no brainer um, on Pitbull. It's just super strong and with it uh, you can re uh, uh, you can kill a lot of uh, the enemies. Uh, deep cover, mm, not necessarily, I wouldn't go for that yet. Haywire protocol is great, lightning reflexes is great as well. Uh, scanning protocol isn't bad either. I'll just help you out here with the abilities that I would pick. I'm not going to, hopefully not going to spend all of your XCOM points, but there are a couple of things that I believe you should take. Um, so far, we're good. Salvo isn't bad. It really isn't. It's good, I like it. Kill zone definitely is not good. Uh, she's not an Overwatch type of character. But she's probably not going to run around with grenades, so Salvo is kind of wasted in, in that regard. Uh, let's see what else. He can always uh, use additional abilities. Matter of fact, let's give him sustain because it is a really, really strong ability. And Edgar and Paul keeps his abilities. I like holo targeting. It is a solid ability for someone who is using his weapon. And for for 10 points, you really can't go wrong with that. I ended up spending most of your points anyways, but I think you will be happy with the result. We need to continue. Let's see, Guerrilla Ops was the last thing that we wanted to do. Could go and reduce uh, the facility, but we don't need to do that yet. Also, we're pretty injured, so let's continue with the guerrilla ops. Gotta find ourselves more income, that's for sure. Got a promotion and another wounded soldier. Mobility, uh, re health plus one, will, 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 promotion, that's what we are looking for. So Pitbull here gets yet another promotion. We'll just power level him. Uh, we're not spending intel for that. Instead, nine days, and we're getting a superior PCS. The promotion is, in my opinion, even worth more than that. I want to get you uh, back on track. Now Good. Can we upgrade this one here? Insufficient power. Well, not for long. Wait for it. There's the extra power. Let's try that again. Upgrade. upgrade there you go engineer would be required okay okay let's see resistance ring we need that one training time we need that one but we certainly don't need two down here good now you got yourself four turrets which means you will hopefully not lose any of the missions when your Avenger is being attacked. Super helpful. We and we finally got the beam cannon, which means we're almost done with um, most of the important upgrades. This here would uh, give us Mark III drones. This here would give us the highest Psy uh, version. None of that here is essential. You can take that later. I am going to give you more intel, which is why we're starting with a decryption, because intel allows you to make contact and you will need to make contact in order to prevent the doom clock from ticking. Good, knowledge for him has increased, that's okay, I suppose. And there we go, we got a guerrilla ops. 
which is either 280 supplies that's absolutely fantastic but a protector device stinks it just stinks and that's the only mission we got oh my gosh well oh. <laughs> yeah yeah i hate protect the device missions and there is a good reason for that but uh we're going to do it because why not um it is free experience we can get out of uh, there whenever we want let's take a look at our soldiers for now um the non-colonel soldiers would be uh, available pretty much pretty much available i like it and in terms of proving ground i was hoping that i could build you a spark can't two little supplies and we want to use the supplies for something else but a spark would have been nice as yet another um, as yet another uh, potential um, soldier I think we're going to use our psionic um, in this mission or maybe one of the kernels we're going to see I'll figure that out uh, as we go so next mission probably second last mission of this run um, uh, just to counter the dark event um, get some more money and we're six days prior to the end of this month I will probably take the end of the month um, and once that is done we get another 470 ish influx so we should be sitting at around uh, 700 with those 700 um, we're going to go for plasma lance 375 uh, and beam cannon that's pretty much uh, all we can buy for the 700 but that will then be the um, everything finally upgraded with the exception of uh, the templar and the reaper weapon and of course um the bulpup so all of your uh, legendary uh, classes still need to be upgraded but that's fine you'll you'll get that eventually and we're going to take in uh, the last mission we're going to take all of that and we'll engage with the chosen uh, because I want to give you the best sniper rifle that will hopefully carry you through the entire game. And that's it, guys. Uh, we're almost done uh, with that. We're on our way to uh, bring this campaign back on track. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, feel free to leave a like down below and follow the channel. Thanks and take good care. Bye-bye.